Welcome to MBRP TV. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, 2011 Mustang GT500 Shelby and the mandrel bent stainless steel exhaust header back that we're offering in both a street and a race version uh, for the 2011 Shelbys. When our designers took possession of the, uh, the 2011 GT500, uh, they decided we wanted to go uh, above and beyond what, uh, what MBRP has been known for typically uh, with the muscle car exhaust. Uh, we build high-end stainless steel T304 and 409 stainless uh, mandrel bent exhausts and this Mustang GT500 is no different. Uh, we actually started with, with headers on this car and, and built a complete exhaust. Uh, a couple of the features of these, these headers, they're, they're full stainless, uh, all MIG welded. Um, basically we, we include all the O2 extensions to, uh, to basically make it a direct fit uh, so there's no cutting or, or modifying of your factory car. Uh, we've got a 3 inch collector, uh, inch and 7 eighths primaries and in the merge collector you've actually got the merge spikes to help uh, basically minimize turbulence going through the exhaust and uh, help, help the flow throughout the rest of the system. We're actually offering uh, two different H-pipes for these GT500s. Uh, depending on your application, whether you're uh, running a race car or uh, a street car, we offer a, a street and a race H-pipe, uh, both catted and non-catted. Uh, these H-pipes are three-inch mandrel bent stainless. Uh, they've got a two and a quarter inch crossover. Uh, just helps equal out your exhaust pressures from both left and right bank. The uh, catalytic converters are a 200 cell metal cat and uh, they're really going to help push, push the envelope a little further and, and really get more flow out of the, out of the exhaust uh, for guys looking to go uh, you know, forced induction above and beyond what uh, the factory supercharger is making. Uh, these H-pipes, these uh, with or without cats, use AccuSeal band clamps just like the remaining part of our system uh, to give it a nice tight seal, keep everything uh, from moving underneath the car and uh, basically a, a direct fit to our, our three inch uh, collectors on, on our headers. So we're going to go one step further back and take a look at uh, both the, the street version and the race version of our catback systems. Uh, we'll get there in a second. The uh, final step in the design process was to, to complete our, our front section of the exhaust with uh, two different catbacks, a street and a race version. Um, both catbacks are three inch mandrel bent. Uh, we try and keep our tolerances as, as high as possible uh, while giving you as much clearance over the rear axle and for you know aftermarket suspension parts, things like that. These exhausts are designed around a, a stock vehicle, but uh, we'll work with most aftermarket parts. Um, what you see here basically is, is a street version. Um, basically our, our mufflers are uh, chambered inside to give it a nice throaty deep tone. Uh, aggressive when you're on the gas but still pretty mild when you're cruising down the highway. The race version of our cat back is uh, basically the same design as the street version. We just changed the internals of our mufflers a little bit to give, uh, to give a bit more of that, that low end and uh, real bark when you snap on it. Um, they're, they're both going to be the same bolt-on applications. Just You got one basically a little, a little quieter for the street for daily driving and then obviously the full race version for guys that are looking for maximum performance and sound. Just a few final points here on our uh, GT500 Shelby systems. Uh, the tips at the back are four and a half inch dual wall mirror polished T304 stainless steel. Um, we include everything you need to install this system on your car. Uh, all the, the clamps, the hangers that mount just like the OEM, the stock hangers. Uh, the O2 extensions for the, for the headers and high flow cats. Um, basically AccuSeal clamps, so a nice high end band clamp that's going to give you a nice solid seal on, on all the slip joints. And uh, a, a complete exhaust you can install with some basic tools and it uh, doesn't take much time at all. So we're going to take this car out for a little road test, get you guys uh, an idea of what it sounds like and uh, we should, uh, we should be on the road here in a couple of minutes.